Hi, everybody. I'm Akila Yana Barnes. And this is my little sister, Raven Barnes. Mm -hmm. um, I'm an alumni at Everybody Dance. I am currently 22 years old. I was dancing for about 15 years, maybe. Um, I took ballet and modern at Everybody Dance. I used to take ballet, but now I just take modern. And um, I've been in this program for eight years. What was one of your greatest highlights as a dancer? I remember um, growing up, I did a at-home performance, like the dance studio that I was a part of in Baltimore where I grew up dancing. We did a, a rendition of The Lion King. And I got cast as one of the hyenas. And back then that was everything because it was like I was the lead and we were also doing the Lion King. So all the music from Broadway, my dancer and uh, well, my dance choreographer and instructor used in the show. And we went all out of our way to make all the costumes. We had parents help out and it was just a really big deal because we felt like we were you know bringing Broadway to Baltimore and we were a part of a Broadway production and I'll never ever forget that show and how special it was to all of us and um, it is definitely one of my favorite moments as a dancer. That sounds amazing. I remember uh, what was it like last year or two years ago when everybody danced at the recital their theme was um, The Lion King. And I wasn't dancing at the time because I had like literally just graduated from the program. And I saw it, I was like, wow, like, I wish I was still dancing to be a part of that. For me, they, they're, there's a list. <laughs> but um, if I could pinpoint one, uh, it was the company that I've been working for and I still currently work for, which is First Style Dance Company. Um, we performed at the Ford Amphitheater and it was us debuting our show Positive Dose there. And I just remember the previous rehearsals just being very intense and all of us like getting our formations and everything. And it is finally coming to this like huge performance that we're debuting the whole production. And I just remember the music starting and us coming from off stage and getting to the point where the audience can see us. And I've never heard like the audience like scream so wildly that it sounded like waves like I've seen it in movies and like and I've heard it but like <laughs> when I'm watching like concerts but to have that feeling of just like hearing the sea of the audience just like scream and yell and of excitement to see the performance I'll never forget that because that was a moment in my life where I already knew that I loved to dance but it it kind of solidified it for me where I was like all right well this is this is what I'm meant to do because the feeling I I never felt that before. I got a call to go dance in Russia, just out of the blue, um, by uh, by uh, just a colleague of mine who was a, a fan of, of my dance. Like we were friends. We had we weren't super close, but they called me and they were like, "Hey, I'm I'm a fan of your movement and of like your." your energy, your presence, how you carry yourself. And I just want to know if you want to go to Russia real quick. <laughs> I was like, uh, yeah, yes, of, of course. Yeah, like want to hop on a plane and go to another country. Something I always wanted to do. And um, it really, it really was encouraging that you never know who's watching you and who's like enjoying your art. That's a Russia, really? That's crazy. What advice would you give to young Black dancers? Watch as much dance as possible. As much dance as humanly possible. And find a genre that you like doing the most and invest all of your energy and all of your time in learning how to do that and do it well while still studying other techniques and um, to know as many dancers as you can and, and build it and be a part of a dance community. I would just say, keep your mind open, keep your heart open. And then just once you're in it, really invest your time and your energy. Cause if you love it, it's going to give back to you. If you're giving it, uh, giving your energy towards it. Add in addition to, um, explore visual art and music, because it'll help you grow as, as an artist and as a dancer. 
right? The better your musical ear is, you know, we dance to music, right? So that's that's only the other, they, they, they answered it. They answered it. They gave you the good answers. Were there any African-American dancers or choreographers who inspired you? Debbie Allen, and that's because my mom loved Debbie Allen. So when she saw me take to dance at such a young age, she just would always say, be like Debbie Allen. You should be like Debbie Allen. And me wanting to also be like my mom and do whatever my mom told me to do. I fell in love with Debbie Allen. And so I grew up watching her not just uh, grow as a dancer into this now like dance god as we know her to be with a studio behind her name, but also watching her in all her other in artistic endeavors as a director and a producer and an actress. So um, she has inspired me, still inspires me and I definitely have tried to, you know, be so much like her in many different ways. I will always say that my mom was my biggest inspiration just to see her move in and dance in. Even though she wasn't a professional dancer, she loved to dance. Whenever music was playing, I would always look at her and she would always have so much joy in her. Like, <laughs> whenever music would come on that she enjoyed. Um, but for me in particular, I would say it was actually whenever I would see any Black artists on TV from, from 106 and Park on BET to MTV and these music videos when I'm seeing Janet Jackson, Aaliyah, um, to Omarion, to Belva DeVoe, to like all of these Black artists dancing so much inspired me because I'm seeing all of these people who look like me on television doing something that I love to do. So I would say it was just seeing black artists, like black artists, especially in the 90s, early 2000s, like to watch those music videos was really pivotal for me because I felt like it made me love it that much more and it made me want to do what they were doing. I, my grandmother who is um, from Cape Verde, Africa was a big uh, supporter of my dance and probably pushed me the most. She used to play little rock and roll records and dance with me when I was little. And uh, so that was a big like push forward from like my family side. And as far as like choreographers and teachers, I was really inspired by uh, tap legends like Nicholas Brothers, Jimmy Slide, right? Bojangles, like those guys really, like how they moved and the energy that they had was like really, it, it caught me when I was younger and really made me want to pursue, especially a very rhythmic dancing. Those are great. Yeah, uh, I definitely know about Debbie Allen. I heard about her before. So yeah. Um, yeah. Raven, do you have one more question you want to ask? What was one of your greatest highlights of being a dance teacher? I had so many. You know, there was a time last year when we were being considered for, I think, a grant for the Gabriella Foundation. And so we had Nike come and observe our class. And in one of the classes, there was a special needs student who loved to dance. Um, but at times he just was not necessarily grouped into moving with the class. And I didn't have a problem with that. So um, that particular class in school was learning West African and I held his hand and we taught the class together, me and him. And it was, I, I would say to him, okay, let's do the next step. And we would do the step holding hands and then the class would do it in like a call and response format. And I remember afterwards when there was a, when I was getting feedback from the Nike observers, they were very impressed by that. And I didn't think anything of it just because that was how it started. But I, from their commentary and how they took me using that student and, and having him participate in that way, they, they saw how special it was and thought it was a really big deal. And it honestly helped me look at it in that way too. And that was a very like great moment for me as a, a dance instructor. And I was glad that I was able to help that student and be recognized for helping that student. He also get a chance to shine in front of Nike, you know, on that day. So that stands out for me for sure. It's the program that I went through, um, through the company that I work for. Um, it's called Versus Down Next Generation. So it's our youth group. And now I'm one of the co-managers and choreographers for the group. So whenever I see the kids that we work with 
go through the whole timeline, it it's always this like <laughs> sense of like happiness and joy that I get from seeing their growth because I see how they started when they loved to dance and now they're to the point where they're teaching and they're they're feeling confident in their freestyle, they're entering battles, they want to perform. So like like to see the growth from each and individual, each and every individual student, like their pathway and to the point where they're like, they're ready to do their own thing and build their own community or continue helping and uh, adding to the community is just something that I always um, love to watch and see. And I, I can't, I can't talk about it enough because it's just this, um, I'm losing my words, but it's just gratifying. Like I get this gratifying, like happiness and joy when I see them enter battles or I see them perform on stage because I saw where they started when I met them in high school or middle school and now they're in college or they're done with college. And it's like to see their growth is just, it makes me happy to know that I was a part of their journey as one of their teachers. Me, it would be um, this one time when I came to like the last day of class and all the students surprised me with uh, thank you notes. And it was, Mr. Dante, you know, we had so much fun. They told me how much fun they had, how much they were gonna miss me. And <laughs> as a teacher, you, you become invested in your students' progress. Like you really enjoy seeing them excel but I don't, I don't expect any any thank you note or anything like that so it was a huge surprise like you just take so much joy in, in seeing them uh grow and excel that that's enough and then that little bit of extra I felt I felt loved I felt loved well thank you guys for um all those answers those are all the questions that we have um I enjoyed hearing you guys' perspective and answers so thank you thank you for having us on Thank you.